Okay, so energy moves from one place to another. Energy can travel from one place to another. Energy can move. That's what we mean, okay? Come with me, let's see. Here, let's look at this picture. We have light energy, the sun. So the sun gives us energy. The sun gives the plants energy. Remember, for plants to make food, they need the sun, okay? And how does the sun give energy to plants? Energy from the sun needs to travel, it needs to move and come to the leaves of a plant. That is where photosynthesis takes place, okay? Plants make their food where on the leaves. So the leaves need energy from the sun. Energy must move from the sun to the leaves so that the leaves can make energy. And how does it move? It can use wind. It can use waves for the energy or the light energy to move from the sun to the plants. Okay? There is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide moves from different things. You have carbon dioxide. When you breathe out, you give carbon dioxide. Okay? Carbon dioxide can come from where? Who can tell me? Raise your hand. Let me see you. Where do we get carbon dioxide from? Good. Carbon dioxide can come from the cars. When there's a smoke, carbon dioxide comes from someone who smokes a cigarette. There will be carbon dioxide coming from their mouth. That's where the plants, leaves, get this energy from. So it moves with the air. It travels when you breathe out. When you take out carbon dioxide from your mouth, it travels in the air and it gets to the plants. And again, what do plants do? Plants uses carbon dioxide and sunlight to do what? To make sugar and oxygen. And the oxygen goes out of the leaf and it travels and we are able to live because plants gives us oxygen. Again, energy can travel from one place to another. Say it. Energy can travel from one place to another. The sun gives us sunlight. Sunlight goes into the plant's leaves okay and the plant leaves gives us what oxygen and oxygen travels into our nose then we take in oxygen and what do we give out tell me what do we give out we give out carbon dioxide how does it get to plants it moves. It moves with the air. So that's how energy can travel from one place to another. Let's look at another example. Light energy travels from the sun to plants. We have just spoken about it again. This is just so that we do not forget, okay? Light energy travels from the sun to plants. So the sun there, when the sun comes out in the morning, plants get excited. Oh, 
oh, we are going to have our food. We are going to have our energies. So plants starts to get excited because when the sun comes out, energy is released. The plants get energy and they are able to do or to make food for you. And you are going to then have energy. Energy, we said, energy can change, can be transformed, okay, from one form to another form. So let's look at this. Kinetic energy can pass to other objects. That's how energy travels. It can pass from one object to another object. Let's look at how it can pass. So before we do, remember what we said kinetic energy is. Kinetic energy is what? Let's read. Energy of good. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Motion means movement. Moving from one place to another place. That's what kinetic energy is. Is. Let's look at this beautiful game where you have pins and a ball. So if you take a ball and you throw it into the pins, the ball has what energy? Who can tell me what kind of energy does the ball have? I can't hear you. Good kinetic energy the ball has kinetic energy and what about the pins pins are those white things okay those white things this white and red things we call them pins what kind of energy do they have before the ball hit the pins i'm gonna say it again what kind of energy does the pins have before the ball hits the pins? Who can tell me? Very good. Good. Very good. The pins have potential energy because the pins were not moving. Okay? Potential energy is the energy that is stored. Stored energy. Energy that an object has. Hello, hi. So the pins were having potential energy. And there was this ball that hit. You see this red ball that hit the pins. It had a different kind of energy. And we call that energy what? Who can tell me? Kinetic energy. The energy of motion. The ball is moving. So let's let's look at something here. The energy in a ball gets transferred to the pins when the ball hits the pin. Okay? Or when it hits the pins. This is what happens. The energy that was here, here on the ball, when you throw the ball to the pins, the energy gets transferred, okay? It moves from the ball to the pins, and now the pins have energy. The energy that we found in the ball is now transferred to the pins. For example, let's say Benjamin... Benjamin cannot uh, run, okay? And I want Benjamin to run. What can I do to Benjamin? I can kick Benjamin and Benja the energy that I have will be transferred to Benjamin. I can push Benjamin, okay? And Benjamin will start to run. So it means the energy that I have is now transferred to Benjamin. That's what we mean. The ball, the potential 
energy in the pins changes to become kinetic energy when the ball hits the pins. Hello, hi.